Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey guys, it's James the Chart Guys. It is Tuesday, February 6th, going to my nightly video on oil. Uh, so oil, right now the trend for the oil bulls to change is they need a break above 65.40. You can see that on this dump, we consolidated. That was the high of the bounce. Then we've pulled back here, consolidation. The high of the bounce now is 64.29. So that's going to be the first resistance I look at tomorrow on inventory report reaction is that uh, 64.29 area. If we're able to break 64.29, um, then we'll see if we can break to a higher high on the four hour to change the, and let us know that uh, oil is potentially done consolidating. The hourly. I'm sorry, the daily, we had a high, a low, a lower high, and a lower low. So we need to change this trend longer term on the daily as well. That's at going to be a break of 64, 63 to change that trend on the daily. Uh, again, longer term view, bulls are in absolute control still. Since this low here, uh, as I've said, every consolidation low has been a higher low, higher low, higher low. Um, and for us to break the recent consolidation low, that's all the way down here at 55.82 for me. And so longer term view, until we break 55.82, there's not that much concern here. We do have a have an inside candle here, which initially broke bare. Uh, we'll see if the bulls can defend that break and close above the low here of 63.67. Um, if I do see this, this price range stay on this weekly here, um, this could potentially be a bull flag on decreasing bear volume. We'll have to see how the bear volume works out here. And we'll see where this candle closes in, in, in comparison to last week's candle. Uh, bulls definitely do not want to close below the low of 63.67 on increasing bear volume. So definitely important week for us to watch here with that inside candle to see if this is a bull flag. Um, similar to back here, uh, back here when we had an inside candle initially broke bull, but bears bought the dip. I'm sorry, initially broke bear, but bulls bought the dip um, and then we broke higher. So we'll see if that type of play plays out here on the weekly uh, with Three more trading days. We'll see how that oil candle develops. Hourly, getting an oversold bounce right now. Pretty similar to the four hour chart. Uh, first resistance now to watch for tomorrow is going to be at 64.29. And again, uh, 60, then on the hourly, we need to watch this 65.40 on the hourly. So definitely first level to watch is gonna be 64.29. Uh, we'll see how we, uh, how we open after after futures runs overnight, and we'll see if we are able to break the 6429. Uh, I would like it to not break before the inventory report personally, and then break after the reaction to the inventory report. But could easily break here, and then we could pull back. I don't want the RSI running too high into the inventory report if there is a bull break here. And it looks like right now we're in equilibrium pattern. We have a, a low and high. We have a lower high higher low, so far lower high, and we could just be in equilibrium pattern until we break one way or the other. So that's something also to watch for on oil. Uh, have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow.